Hey, so just finished a pretty long trip down to Jacksonville, Florida on my uh, desert sled. Gonna give it a quick wash and get all the mud off and install some Kriega dry packs. I bought a 20 liter pack and two 10 liter packs that mount onto the side of the 20 liter pack when it's going to be the full setup. But it should be a quick install of the dry packs onto the bike. So yeah, I bought these packs off of Revzilla. It seems to be uh, one of their dominant suppliers of the dry packs. Uh, came in the mail within four days, which wasn't too bad. So yeah, also additionally I bought a tool bag from Kriega. I thought it'd be good to have when I'm doing more longer trips for adventure touring. I'm gonna deck it out with some tools here in another video, but for now, uh, we'll put this aside. So yeah, onto the dry packs. So the main pack is a 20 liter pack. I figured this would be big enough to store my sleeping bag, uh, maybe some of my other smaller camping materials. I'm going to end up mounting my tent on top of these packs whenever I go out and doing touring rides. So I really didn't need a spot to put my tent. Yeah, basically it comes with a set of instructions, which we really don't need in some straps. So we'll be using those later when we start installing this onto the bike. And yeah, here's the 10 liter pack, noticeably a lot smaller. I might be using this when I start commuting on the bike a little bit more, just having the 10 liter on the back, just so I have a place to put some things. And yeah, here's the other 10 liter pack. So first thing we gotta do is um, mount up four straps onto the rear subframe of the Ducati Scrambler so that we have a hard mount for the 20 liter pack to get strapped into. What we're gonna need to do is unbolt those four bolts where our tool bag is set up. This will allow you to get the straps underneath the rear subframe that goes across in the back as I found this was probably the only spot where you could mount those uh, two back straps for the bag. So yeah, once you uh, get it all strapped through, it's uh, pretty easy to get the straps in. I'm gonna end up cutting off the excess that I don't need since I'll likely be keeping these on the bike permanently. But yeah, the strap comes up through the bottom of this belt buckle and then through the top and then back around through the bottom loop that you originally put it in. And uh, yeah, get it to where you want it so it's protruding out from underneath the seat when it's locked in like this and you're pretty much done. Just repeat the process for the front two straps, which now that you've done it twice, it's pretty easy to know what you're doing. And that's honestly the entire setup for these dry bags. But yeah, once you're done with that, you'll want to bolt back in the bolts that you loosened up at the start. I'm going to show here uh, what it looks like when the seat's totally locked in. You'll see that there's the four hooks that you're going to be hooking into for the strap. So yeah, now I'm going to stuff up the dry pack with what I would probably put in there for my adventure touring. Like I said, my sleeping bag, a uh, blow up mat, and then a flannel liner for those cold nights down here in South Carolina. This is also a to-go coffee mug that I'll likely be bringing along. I just wanted to fill it up so we could all see like how much stuff could go in there and then how to tighten it up and get it back onto the bike. So yeah, it'll roll up and you'll buckle in the sides and then you'll basically be placing this onto the top of the bike in the back and we'll see how to strap that in. There's one more belt buckle on top. And of course, if on any trip, I'm always bringing some uh, wet wipes and uh, matches, because why not? So yeah, this is how you get it onto the bike. 
uh, basically put it where you want it and you'll hook in these metal hooks into the straps that we had just put onto the bike and they'll buckle into the top of the bag. There'll be two buckles in the front and back on top of the bag where these will go into. So just repeat the process for the other side and you're all done. Looks great and uh, can't wait to use it on some touring. Catch you guys in the next one.